Um, and as I was saying to our audience just now, uh, you know, obviously a very sad day for us. Uh, you know, the mood here is very different in our studio this morning. Um, our friend and colleague, Linda Bellingham, as you know, lost her battle with cancer and died in her husband's arms in a London hospital yesterday. Um, but Colin, we were saying, you know, we want this to be a celebration about Linda as well, didn't we? Because it's very hard for us because <coughs> she was such fun and so full of energy and verve. Mm. We don't want this to be too gloomy today, but we miss her so much and very sad. I miss her already so much mm. um, and it's so hard not to be sad yeah. and the only thing that I think will get me through the day is because I can almost feel her behind me whacking me going <laughs> get on with it you know <laughs> stop being sad and because she was such a strong woman right up to the end mm. and brave and funny mm. you know I mean I read her I've just finished her autobiography her latest one and you know, I laughed and I cried. And, and these are her memoirs is, about yeah, the run-up to and, this um, moment. And it shines through, yeah. you know, in the, in the whole book anyway. Mm. Um, and like I said, that's just what she was like and, and, and just the honesty of her. You know, she was such a and, fantastic woman. Yeah, and I know we've had a lot of people, Jane, haven't we? Talk, we the fact, we've talked about her on the show, saying it's really helped them. Oh, yes. So I think, absolutely. you know, if, if people are dealing with a loved one with any type of cancer, Linda's, as we know, was, was colon cancer. But I think she has been quite inspirational. I use, you know, don't use that word very often because I think it's used too often. Yeah. But well, she really has At the very beginning, been. she didn't say anything at all, did no. she? Um, I mean, even a lot of her fr wider circle of friends didn't know. Um, and then obviously when it became kind of an untenable situation, she started to talk about it and, um, and really embraced that. And I think that was really brave of her because in, in the end she sort of shared it with everybody because it's very easy, I think, to, to stay contained within your family. But actually for anyone that's going through that and the people who are left behind, that to see somebody with that much life... I mean, I didn't know Linda, but every mm. picture I've ever seen of her... She's got a big old cheesy yeah. grin, and that included right up to the end of her life. And as we know, we all loved her as the Oxo mum. We all wanted her to be our mum, didn't we? That's so many of us grew she up. She hated with that. the fact that I wanted her to be my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not old that enough to darling. be your mum. Yeah. <laughs> but you worked with her on the Oxo yeah, campaign, didn't I, you? Actually, because I'd, I'd been working with her on um, Second Thoughts, uh, which was um, a series that my little sister Julia was in and she played her mum and she actually she actually got me the job um on 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 the oxo ads and um but that was so what you Linda's, played what you were the girlfriend I played of her you? son's yeah. girlfriend yeah but that was the thing about she she had in a way she hated the fact mm. that we always go oh you're just like my mum cozy <laughs> mum because she wanted to, she, well, she was a very attractive woman and, and very saucy hilariously funny and she was not ready to be anyone's mum mm. really mm. was she and and also an incredible actress i don't mm. think yeah. she was appreciated enough for her acting ability you know that used to drive her mad as well that because she she adored the oxo ads that she did but you know she used to say i'll be remembered for that and lose them in not yeah. any of the yeah. acting she'd done and mm. she'd flare up about remember, that sometimes because she was amazing i remember once i can't remember what it was a costume drama and i was actually nannying for her boys at that time and because uh, i was an out of work actress that was the other thing about it. she always had a house filled with out of work actresses you could be cleaning you could be cooking <laughs> she knew the feeling just a way she? to give yeah. you cash you know because she loved this business and i think part of this of her being of coming out and talking to everybody i i i could see just from photos i mean i didn't speak to her we just texted just really but i could see that she was getting real energy from all that love mm. she was getting from people don't you think yeah, Lee? absolutely she loved the audience people did love her genuinely yeah. love her yeah. and um I think the, the reason I'm so sad today as well is because she just wanted to make Christmas. Well, do you know, we all said that. The first thing I thought when I heard that was, you know, oh, how awful for her family. And then I thought every interview I saw and, you know, and we're going to be showing ours soon, um, and she talked to you about it, I know. She kept saying, I just want one more Christmas with my family, mm. with my boys. And that was the saddest thing I thought this morning. It's just that she didn't, she fought and fought and she just didn't quite, she's not going to make that mm. that Christmas, which is so sad. 